Welcome to this lecture on the acceptance of smart charging. In this module we will explore acceptance of smart charging and vehicle-to-grid charging. What do electric vehicle drivers think about smart charging and vehicle-to-grid? Are they willing to charge smart and under which conditions? And which incentives can be used to ensure we can use the full potential of EVs? As you have learned earlier in the course, smart charging of EVs involves charging when electricity is cheap, that is when demand is low and when renewable electricity is abundant. While vehicle-to-grid, or V2G for short, the vehicle battery is additionally able to discharge when electricity is expensive, typically when demand is high or when weather conditions cause renewable production to be low. Smart charging and vehicle-to-grid both enable the vehicle driver to earn money. When used at scale, they also enable a higher share of electricity production to be sourced from variable renewable sources. But this is quite different from what uh, EV drivers are used to do, just charging their cars as fast as possible when they plug it and paying for the electricity bill. So what do EV drivers think of smart charging and vehicle to grid? To start with, many EV drivers are not aware of what these are, especially vehicle to grid. But this is quickly changing. Leading commercial providers of smart charging already have several thousand of registered users. Studies show that most EV drivers have a positive outlook on smart charging. Their main concern and about the how smart charging affects their EV driving range, how much they can earn from smart charging, and how much insight and control they have over the vehicle charging process. Typically, for smart charging to be acceptable to EV drivers, there are a few conditions that need to be met. EV drivers would like their freedom to drive around to be minimally affected, to be fairly compensated for any value generated through smart charging and to be informed of what the battery is doing when the option to opt out of smart charging. EV drivers would also like to know if there are external benefits to smart charging that they contribute to, such as emission reduction and preventing congestion in the grid. These factors need to be considered when developing smart charging technology, designing standard and planning policy to enable smart charging. On vehicle to grid, public opinion is more divided. Factors which are not relevant for smart charging are quite important for drivers to accept the V2G uh, charging. This includes the reduction of battery capacity and lifetime due to de degradation, the price of electricity storage and the possibility for the driver to set limits to this charging to ensure that their vehicle have enough range for unexpected trips or emergencies. As with smart charging, vehicle drivers would like to change to their drive patterns to be as low as possible to receive fair compensation for discharge energy with minimal reduction of vehicle performance, lifetime and resale value. With a vehicle to grid, EV drivers can both buy and sell electricity just like households with solar photovoltaic system on their roofs. Since vehicle-to-grid based transactions are more complicated than smart charging, special V2G contracts may need to be drawn up between drivers and aggregators, who need to agree on how to share the value created by vehicle-to-grid charging sessions. There are three main features of vehicle to grid contracts, prices, energy units and control. For example, information from electricity market prices could be used to determine when an EV 
discharges, or the driver can choose how much electricity, that is unit of energy, can be discharged from the battery, regardless of the timing. Or else, the driver can give control of the vehicle charging to the aggregator when it is plugged in a long as a battery has enough charge for the next trip when it is to be made. Each of these or any combination of them could be used to govern how the vehicle user and the aggregator conduct transactions. Making vehicle to grid acceptable to a large fraction of EV drivers depends on making the condition of their contracts acceptable to them. Smart charging of and vehicle to grid both have considerable potential. The financial compensation that the EV drivers receive participating reduces the total cost of ownership of an EV. EVs that provided the demand response and stored electricity can reduce the cost of peak power generation and the cost of managing congestion in the distribution grid. They also enable more variable electricity sources like wind and solar photovoltaic to be connected to the grid. For this to happen, large fraction current EV drivers, as well as drivers who will go electric in the coming decades, need to accept smart charging or vehicle to grid in some form or another. We know that internationally the people who have already purchased EVs tend to be more weighty, better educated and more environmental conscious than the average vehicle owner. As EVs become more mainstream, the motivation of EV drivers to accept smart charging and vehicle to grid might change. For example, how much they earn might matter more to EV drivers 10 years from now and their contribution to emission reduction less than it does to drive today. Policy intervention may also have a strong role to play. For example, in the Netherlands, where smart charging session from less than 5% of all EV charging session, smart charging is expected to become a uniform nationwide market standard for destination charging by 2025. In this lecture, we have looked at how smart charging and vehicle to grid can have benefit for both EV drivers as well as the grid and environment. We have gone over what EV drivers think on smart charging and vehicle to grid and the factors that need to be considered to incentivize them to charge differently. We have bri briefly touched on vehicle-to-grid contracts and how they can help foster acceptance among the wider EV driving public today and in the coming years.